It's Sunday again here at St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church. It's time for kindergarten. Remember guys, always get your name tag. And always get your candle and a kiss with the icon and do the sign of the cross. Lord, thank you for our church. Please bless the people in our church. Thank you for the sign of our cross that reminds us of how much you love us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi, boys and girls. Today, our lesson is about prayer. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the television and I put some pictures up there for you. The first one says, when we come to church on Sunday with our family, we come to pray. Look, that's a family in the pews in church and another family at the bottom singing. We pray with everyone in church like one big family. We are the family of God. Today, boys and girls, we're going to watch a little video. And this story in the video is a story from the Bible. It's actually from a book in the Bible called First Samuel. You're going to hear that name again. And it's about Hannah. And Hannah is very sad about something. And she's asking God for something. So I want you to watch the video and listen closely. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about what Santa, Hannah was sad about and what she was praying for. An Israelite woman named Hannah was married to a man named Elkanah. They were happy together. But Hannah wasn't able to have any children. One of the other mothers was mean to Hannah and often made fun of her because she had no children. One day, Hannah got so upset that she went to God's holy tent to pray for a baby. Lord of heaven, please don't forget me. If you will give me a son, I will give him back to you all his life. While Hannah kept praying, Eli the priest noticed something strange. Hannah's lips moved, but he couldn't hear her voice. He didn't realize that she was praying in her heart. Eli thought she must be doing something wrong. No, Master. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I was telling the Lord about all the problems and sadness in my heart. Ah, well, may the God of Israel give you what you ask of him. Hearing this, Hannah was not sad anymore. And very soon, Hannah's prayer was answered. She had a baby boy and named him Samuel, which means God heard. Hannah and Elkanah were very happy. Several years passed, and young Samuel was growing up. But Hannah never forgot her promise to the Lord. So she traveled with Samuel to see Eli, the priest. My master, I am the same woman who stood near you praying for a child many years ago. The Lord has given me a son, and now I give him back to the Lord. He will belong to the Lord 
all his life. So Samuel went to live in the temple. And every year, Hannah made her son a new coat because of her great love for little Samuel. So kids, you watched the video about Hannah and we found out what Hannah was praying for. Did you catch it? It was for a baby. She wanted a baby. And she went to church and there was a priest named Eli there. And the priest saw that she was praying and he said her lips were moving but he couldn't hear any sound and he realized that she was praying in her heart so we're going to talk more about praying in our heart but what one of the things that this video um, showed us is that God always hears our prayers and he always answers now with Hannah he said yes but Hannah had to wait sometimes God says yes Sometimes God says no, and sometimes God says you have to wait, not now. But God always hears our prayers, and he always answers our prayers. So, boys and girls, we're going to watch another video. This time, this video is about Samuel. And what I want you to listen for in this video is listen to who is speaking to Samuel of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi. Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel. Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel. Bye, Mom. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli. As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. But one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel. Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Mommy. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel. Huh? And again, Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Mommy. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time. Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed. And God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God, and he listened when God spoke to him. So boys and girls, I hope you liked that second video. So were you able to figure out who was speaking to Samuel? It was God, wasn't it? God was speaking to Samuel and Samuel listened to everything that God told him and he did everything that God told him. Samuel, Samuel grew up to be what we call a prophet and 1 Samuel is found in the Old Testament part of the Bible. That was before Jesus was born. So our lesson today is about prayer and prayer. Oh, I wanted to show you an icon. So let me show you this icon on the screen. That's an icon of Hannah and Samuel when he was a little boy. 
before he grew up to be a prophet. So, like I said, today our lesson is about prayer. And we found out that Hannah prayed in her heart. And I want to talk to you a little bit about praying in your heart. Now, pray, prayer is talking to God. And we can't pick up a telephone and call God, can we? So we have to talk to God a different way. And as we're growing up, our parents, our families are praying with us. Sometimes we pray at the dinner table or the breakfast table or the lunch table. Or sometimes we say prayers with our family at night before we go to bed. And we come to church and we pray with our family of God all together. And we do that in lots of different ways. We sing songs like the song that we learned um, when we sung holy God that's a prayer we learn how to do the sign of the cross that's a prayer we we sing lots in church and we do lots of prayers we do the our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit that's a prayer that's one that's on your lesson today so we pray with our family and we pray in church but we can pray alone to boys and girls and i want you to imagine that there's a room in your heart and Jesus is always there in your heart room. And anytime you want to pray or you want to talk to Jesus, all you have to do is go in your heart room. You can imagine that you're going in and you're opening the door and there Jesus is and he is waiting for you and he is so happy to see you. He's smiling because he's happy you're there. And you can sit and talk to him and you can tell him anything you want. You can say, thank you, God, for this wonderful day or thank you for my friends. Or if you got in a fight with somebody, you can say, I'm sorry, Jesus, that I fought with my friend. I really feel bad. Would you please help me be better and be more patient and be more sharing? Or if you're worried about something, and maybe somebody's sick that you know, you can go to Jesus and say, Jesus, I'm really worried about this person. I want them to be well again. Jesus is always there, boys and girls, and he is so happy that you come and talk to him. So you should do that often. And all you have to do is get quiet and imagine going into your heart room and knowing that Jesus is always there, always there to listen to you. So before you leave your heart room, always tell Jesus you'll be back and always tell Jesus how much you love him. So boys and girls, to end the lesson today, we're going to do a little story. So in the story, there's a part and I bet you can help. And you, we're going to sing after every page, and I think you'll pick up on it really, really quick. So let me get the story ready, and we're going to do the story in one second. Okay, boys and girls, so today we're going to read I Pray Today. Remember, you're going to have to help me. Good morning, God. The day is new. I say my first small prayer to you. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Skip down to breakfast where I pray. Please bless this food to start my day. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Christina cannot play. She's sick. I pray she's feeling better quick. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Then out the door and down the street, I wave and smile to all I meet. Lord have mercy. Munch crunch, I eat my lunch. These carrots make me grow a bunch. Lord have mercy. We spin and run and soak up sun. I thank you, Lord, for friends and fun. 
Lord, have mercy. We run and jump, but down I thump. Then tears and hugs, please heal my bump. Lord, have mercy. Whoops. My dad says dinner's piping hot. I stuff in food, but whoops, forgot. Lord, have mercy. She forgot to say her prayer. I want those blocks. No, they're mine. Shove and yell, then sorry time. Lord, have mercy. Let's cuddle up. We'll read instead. Now dozing off, it's time for bed. Lord, have mercy. I'm all tucked in, and now I say a final prayer to end the day. Lord, have mercy. So, boys and girls, that's the book that we read called I Pray Today, and it just helps you to know that there are different times of the day and different reasons that you can pray. So boys and girls, this is what we learned today. This is your lesson page. And on, and on this page is the prayer that Jesus taught us how to pray with. To pray with. It is our Father who art in heaven prayer. And you can now you have it at home to practice. We are also sending home activity pages about Samuel and Hannah and Samuel and about praying. We're also gonna send you home a heart to always remember to pray in your heart room. And finally, finally, we are going to send home a prayer book that you can make. If you're a boy, you get a, a boy's kneeling and praying. If you're a little girl, you get a girl. As well, in this, with it, it, with it, it has little prayers that you can glue on with your glue stick. And this is what mine looks like. So, Evan and Thaddeus and Demi and Basil and Philip and James and Jack and Reagan and Colin and Luke and Ava and Ryan, I want you to know that Miss Andrea and I pray for you all the time. We pray to our Father that you're growing and you're learning and that you're kind and you're loving and that you're fair and you're forgiving and that you're strong and you're unafraid. And most of all, we pray that you're thankful for everything that you've been given, especially Jesus. And we pray, amen. I'll see you next week, guys, and have a good week. And we'll learn more next week. Bye.